In this video, I'm going to show you a nice little play that you can use just to keep the ball moving on offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, in this video, we're going to show you how to bomb cover two for a one play score. We might even show you how to bomb cover three for a one play score while we're at it. So make sure to stick around for the whole video. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't heard about my Patreon yet, my Trips Tied In full ebook, the full version of this offense, it will be available to you if you join the Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, you don't only get access to this ebook, but you're also going to get access to all 13 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks for literally just one low price of $10 a month. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description below. You can check that Patreon out right there. And my personal opinion is the best bang for your buck and will instantly help you get better at this game all right guys so today we're talking about the uh pa slot corner now to run this the best you do need an outside apprentice or a hot route master those are fairly easy to come by at this point in the game and i really really want to talk about this setup so what we're going to do with this play is we're going to post the square receiver we're going to hitch the running back or or not the running back but the um the slot miller there and that's pretty much it <laughs> we're just going to snap the ball and what you're going to see here is we're going to basically have a two-player read. Really, the one that we like to hit on this is the corner route. The corner route is the best route. Um, it's very, very good against cover three, cover two, cover four. They basically have to put their zones at 30 to stop it. The thing that's also really cool is you notice that that will carry the yellow zone. So no matter what yellow zone it is, the yellow zone will get carried vertically unless they have uh, like 30-yard clouds and then five-yard yellows. And we'll talk about how to beat that in just a second. But take a look real quick here. You're going to see this vertical hook just gets carried. And then he does actually come back down so we can just hit the corner. So you have a little triangle read, if you will, on this backside uh, in the way the concept is going to actually practically work. But what's also really cool about this play is if they run cover two on you, your skinny post over the top is going to be wide open. All you got to do is pass it up, click on, and Savage actually made the play of his career on there. Let me show you that one more time. Um, but again, against cover two, this is a fairly consistent bomb. Typically, what you're going to notice is the user is going to be in the middle of the field anyway, probably running to the corner. So you don't always, you know, he actually is getting matched by the mid read. But what, I mean, very rarely out of a cover two defense are you going to see a mid read, honestly, because most people are going to be using that. They'll put in a blitz. Um, there's a lot of things that you're going to see. So if they don't have a mid read on the field, if they do have a mid read on the field, I'll show you something we can do about it in just a second. But if you take a look here again, this is with no mid read. You see that the deep half just gets completely sucked outside and it just isolates the skinny post in the middle of the field. And you're going to be able to bomb cover two. Now, the other thing I want to show you though, is let's say for example, that, that they're just the kind of player that they, they like to use the D line or whatever. Um, how can we manipulate the mid read? Well, typically what I can, what you can do is just drag the triangle receiver. So if you don't want to hitch him or if they're using those five yard yellows and it's not really worth it, do a drag route. And what you'll see with the drag is oftentimes it'll f kind of freeze that mid read. He actually got back on it still pretty good, but oftentimes it does freeze him in the middle of the field, maybe an in route just to kind of, again, you can kind of mess around with whatever pool route you want. But the general concept is you have a post on that side and then you have a corner on the back side. And here you see, here's cover two and there we go. And as you can see, the mid read gets sucked down to the in route and we're able to hit this. So, Again, you know, you just kind of experiment a little bit with this. If they put zone drops out of cover two, I'm just telling you right now, the mid read, because again, most people, they play zone drops, right? So they're going to put their, their yellows at five. If they put their yellows at five, the mid read is going to suck down no matter what. He's going to play at five, right? So, you know, you see here, see how he takes that little false step? Then I could kind of pass that up. If I have a faster player there, I could probably make a play or I could just out user the guy. But again, if they're putting zone drops on the... The only way they can stop the hitch is by putting the zone drops. So if they put the zone drops on the field, then you can throw your post or your corner typically. Um, and then the other thing that I like about the hitch is it's kind of the ultimate check down because what I can do here, I'm going to let everything run off here. And then I'm just going to playmaker the, that, that guy across. And now I basically have a little drag, if you will, in the concept. So that's another thing that I really like out of that. But again, we showed you cover two, cover three, and cover four. Now I want to spend just a few seconds here on match. So this is cover four uh, quarters. What you should see here is this guy to the sideline will be wide open uh, on, on match defense. It's really good. Again, I really think 
you know, again, mess around with the slot. The five yard in route can be really glitchy for you out of this concept. You'll see right here, like really gets the match messed up and then you can bomb them over the top as long as Brady doesn't miss the throw, which of course he does. But you see, I had to step over the top of the player. It's just Tom Brady has a noodle arm in regs, but in mutt, you're gonna be able to make that throw. And again, so just mess around with this. If you want an in route or if you want uh, a hitch or if, whatever kind of check down you really want, um, you can you can utilize that like, like that, okay? And again, against match, I would just hit the, I would typically just hit the, um, the corner to uh, Godwin. Pass lead down and away, you see it's wide open. Okay, so every defense is beats. It's not as good against man, I will say. Like if you get a good man coverage, so like let's say you get cover two man. This is not as good against man. The tight end corner route will sometimes get open, sometimes not. Here it does get open. And then the corner route on the left, um, I would say the corner route on the left is not as consistent this year as it has been in years past. Um, I'm gonna show you that real quick. So you'll see, they kind of get kind of get caught up, but he still kind of gets out there. You see that? So be careful with that corner right against man. Um, then the last thing I wanted to share with you is if you get a if you get something like a man coverage, this is where this hitch or this drag can be really good. So you'll see right here, they'll just he kind of runs him out of the underneath the line, and then as you can see, he gets wide open against man. So. That's that's another reason why I like the in route. I like the I like all of those three. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, put him on a zig route. I mean, you could do all of those different kind of concepts, and um, it'll it'll really work well for you. What I like about the zig, let me show you one last thing here with the zig. But what I like with the zig route is if you you could throw it there, but you could also wait on it, and then you'll see here that I could then playmaker it back just like I would like a flat route or something like that. So if it's a it's a late read. It could be something that is very beneficial okay so and then last be I mean lastly you could do like a streak um, just a straight runoff this is more of a cover three beater uh, if you will and then but that's a very vertical way to throw I'll show you it against cover three so if they run cover three on you you could do something like this and they wouldn't immediately know you're running the bomb right because they may be thinking well he's just running a flood but no, they look up and you've got a cover three beater over the top of them. So that this PA slot corner is a very versatile play in this offense. And it's something that I think people don't really use enough, uh, to be honest. And I just really think that, you know, this concept is very effective. Again, look how this little in route can really open up some stuff. And then if you get like a cover two man, oftentimes you can get a touchdown over the top to that skinny post or at least a big play so anyways that's the video if you enjoyed it you want to learn more about trips tight in or if you want to get better join the patreon for just ten dollars a month you're getting access to everything you get access to all the ebooks all the tips every breakdown that i do for just 10 bucks a month we've got some really really good stuff in there so i really encourage you to sign up for that today if you are looking to sign up for the patreon head down to the description click the link in the description it'll take you right over to the page and you can get signed up real fast